Hey y'all, welcome back to Hickman's Home Cooking. I'm Tony Hickman. So I didn't really know what to do for my next video, like always. Someone at work had mentioned popcorn soup. So I've never heard of popcorn soup, but it definitely piqued my interest. So I did some research on it and I went through a few recipes and I found one that I wanna try. So granted, this is not my recipe because I've never made this before. I'm gonna go ahead and add a link down below to where I got this recipe from to give credit where credit is due. So the weather's changing a little bit and by here changing, I mean instead of 99, it's 91 now. So it's starting to get a little bit cooler so we can do an, a soup. So I wanted to give it a try. So follow along with me and let's try to make some creamy popcorn soup. Let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is melt our butter. So we're gonna add one stick of butter. I wanna do this over medium heat. You do not want to do this over high heat and melt your butter. So under medium heat, get it all the way melted until it's a little bubbly. Then you wanna add your half onion. I did mine finely chopped. It doesn't really matter how much you chop it because it's gonna go into a blender later. I'm just like practicing my knife skills. We're gonna let this cook for about eight minutes in that butter. And then we're gonna add our garlic cloves. I added three. Let this cook for an additional minute. Then we're gonna add our corn. I just used canned corn. Uh, they said to use fresh corn, but uh, I didn't have any fresh corn. I did have this can of corn laying around that I wanted to use, so I used that up. I used 10 ounces of the canned corn. And it also said to use homemade cornstarch. I didn't do that either, so I'm going to use four cups of chicken stock. Add our salt. I'm gonna raise my heat up here just to bring this to a quick boil so we can get a good simmer on it. Once you do that, reduce your heat and you want this to simmer for about 10 minutes. After about 10 minutes, you should have something that looks similar to this and it's off to the blender. We're gonna add this into our blender. And looking back, I should have done this into two different batches because if you look closely, you'll see that it overflows here a little bit. But hey, lessons learned. Once it's all blended up, go ahead and return to your pot. Still gonna be a little a little chunky, but that's okay. And I do that every time I use this blender. Every time I drop that blade in there. I'm gonna bring that back to a simmer. Now it's time to add our popcorn. I was kind of curious to see how this was gonna go, but it does pretty much melt instantly once you put it in. I did mine in uh, two different batches, just not overload the pot. I use simple microwave popcorn that I've had sitting in the pantry forever. It's actually expired, but hey. It is what it is. Use what kind of popcorn you like and it all come out the same. Give this a good stir around and let this cook for about five minutes. After five minutes, you should have a good, kind of almost like a thin oatmeal looking consistency. And then it's back to the blender again. Now I learned my lesson the first time, so I'm going to just split this into two. And I have a second pot set down that you can't see that I'm going to pour this into. Go ahead and do both batches, or if you have a big blender, you could do it into one. But get it as good as possible. Next, get a fine mesh strainer and strain this back into your original pot. I only have this little one, so this is gonna take me a second. Uh, if you have a big one, this will go a lot faster for you. Just try to push as much of the juice out as possible. This one took me three times to do, just to remove any excess chunks that you may have. And you should be left with something that looks nice and creamy, and it tasted great. So. We're going to add just a little bit of cream. I did about an ounce, ounce and a half of heavy cream. You could add as much cream as you would like. It depends on how creamy you like it. 
but it is now nice and smooth and velvety. Let's give it another taste and yep, that's the magic spot right there. That's so good. Had to go in for a third one. Next, all you gotta do is put it into a bowl. And then you wanna add just a little more popcorn on top just for appearance. It does melt quick, so be careful. And just to give it a little extra color, a little extra kick, I added some paprika. And there you have popcorn soup. Just a little touch right there. And so there it was, popcorn soup. Who would have thought such a thing existed? But hey, I'm glad I researched it. I'm glad someone at work had brought that up because I was really happy with how creamy and velvety the end product came out. It was like eating a bowl of popcorn just in a warm soup addition. Kind of crazy, but I, I really enjoyed it. So give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed following along with me. If you haven't already, you want to check out some of my other videos, check here or right there. Give those a click. Please like and subscribe. Hickman's Home Cooking. I'll see you all next time.